Welcome Ridge Life, I'm Tim. And guys, as you know, we've had the Arctic blast come through West Tennessee a couple times now. Ice storms, uh, amok everywhere. Well guys, the destruction and death left by the last freeze is hitting us still. We're gonna get inside the camper and show you some damage and what we're gonna do about it. And we're also going to, my goodness guys, check if we have death on the ridge. So stick around. The last time it froze, I forgot something very, very, very important. Now, uh, I've winterized several times throughout this winter. And of course, using the camper, you know, I have to put water in it. And then of course, here comes the freezing temperatures again. Got to winterize it. I forgot this. Here in the kitchen sink, I forgot to open these valves. Now, normally when I winterize, I go around, open all the valves, all the sinks, the shower, all that. I open the low water drains for hot water and cold water, drain it all out, put some RV antifreeze down each drain. So the little P-trap um, has uh, uh, antifreeze in there so it doesn't expand and crack. The, that really gets you ready for winter. Well, I did not do that right here. I left these closed the last time I used it. And then this downspout, water collects between the valves up to here. And what happened was, check this out. This is not good. And this is a metal, a metal faucet. Um, a lot of RVs have plastic and actually that's what replacements are, but this is metal. So you can see right here, that metal cracked. And that blew out when I went to use it this last time, sprayed water everywhere. It's just like that joke when you put a rubber band around the uh, uh, your sink sprayer and dad gets water all over him. <laughs> Same thing happened to me right here. That cracked out. I don't know if you can see that right there. That cracked out. So what I did is I ordered a replacement on Amazon. And this replacement is it's um, uh, antique bronze. It looks very, very similar to, to what's on there. It's a little bit lighter color bronze, um, but it, it is a, uh, the spout fits perfectly. Now, I could go ahead and get under here and replace this entire fixture. This one's a square base, and this one's a rounded base, so it's going to leave a little bit of a discoloration there. So this works fine. The valves work fine. So I'm just going to replace the downspout, and luckily... It is an exact replacement. So all I got to do, if you can see here, is push the gasket right down in the hole, screw this on, and once I get it tight and it seals, you can see it's a, it's a color-wise, it's a good fit, I should be able to turn on the water. Hot water, cold water, and I'm not getting sprayed. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That is, that makes me so happy. This was like 40 bucks. The non-bronze colored ones was like 20 bucks on Amazon. For some reason, the, the bronze colored one, the brush, brass, or whatever you call it, uh, was $20 more. I don't know why, but I'm gonna save this. So if I need these valves and all this, I can put that on there, but these are working good. And guys, I've got water. That was sure an easy fix. If all freeze damage jobs repairs were that easy, got goodness gracious, plumbers would be out of business because that was simple. Guys, this next thing we're gonna do uh, is freeze related. We're gonna get out and check the apiary. The apiary where all our honeybees are. You saw us move them down uh, during the ice storm. We had a couple colonies that looked like issues were going on. We've had sub-zero temperatures, guys, to minus two degrees. We've had the uh, ice storm total devastation around the ridge as far as pine trees and all that. So what has happened to our bees in the apiary? We're going to take advantage of this warm weather to check our bees today. So many of you guys have left comments saying, Tim, how did the bees fare this winter? How were they after that big ice storm and you moved them to the new location? Well, I'll tell you right now, guys, this time of the year is the most dangerous for honeybees in your apiary. You're like, Tim, it's, it's almost 70 degrees today. It's this beautiful weather. Why would it this, this time be the most dangerous? Well, during the winter, when it's real, real cold, they ball up and they move around. The bees move around the honey frames. That's what honey's for, is to keep bees living in the wintertime. And they move around nice and cold, stay there. They, 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 they expend hardly any energy at all. They just keep that queen warm. Well, when it warms up like this, they go out flying all day, thinking it's springtime, but there's no flowers anywhere, right? So they come back, they've expended all this energy, and what do they do? They eat up their honey. 
and then it all goes away and guys it's supposed to get 25 degrees again this week and rain and 28 degrees and rain that's what's going to kill your bees they're going to eat all their honey they're going to starve to death and we've already got one we're kind of concerned about down there with hat maker colony so let's open our bees up starting down here at gunslinger see there's no activity right here right now it's already it's the sun is setting and they're in for the evening right but i start disturbing them they're not going to be happy okay so all the bees that are in the colony should be there now there's none out flying around so we'll open them up see what kind of bees are on top not going to break down inside of them and we'll start feeding them some winter patty and i'll show you that in just a second let's get them opened up here now guys everything may look quiet on the western front you don't see any bee activity but let me tell you right now there is activity going on inside here when i open this lid up on gunslinger i'm expecting to see a whole bunch of bees right here now i'd fed them this winter patty see it's it's not really a patty it's more granulated uh, sugar with a uh, other types of things that keep bees healthy throughout the winter it's called winter patty by pro winter pro winter patty um I'm expecting to see a lot of bees right around here and maybe some residual. It's been a while since I fed them, so it may all be gone. Let's see what we've got here. Let's break, break the lid open. Let's see, it's been a while since I had this open. Oh, there we go. I see, they, 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 they use like a, um, it's called propolis. They seal the top to keep that winter air out. So open real carefully. Ooh, nice. See, they ate all their sugar lots and lots of bees i don't want to disturb them too much now i'm going to be putting this winter patty right on top of there and they're already starting to be mad they're already starting to fly i'm just going to feed some and get out of their way oh they're already sticking to it <laughs> all right i just want to get some on there and get out of their way just get a little bit on each side there look at them going look at them going i just dropped some of that that should be more than enough right there let me let me get you a little close-up view okay look at these guys oh they've already found it look they found it right there you see them they've already found it and decided to, they want some of it. look at them see them already attacking my fingers i'm gonna smash this flat a little bit smash this flat so when i put the lid on there when I put the lid on there, they'll be easy to get to it. But look at all those bees, guys. Isn't that cool? Gunslinger bees are doing fine. You saw all those bees right there at the top. They'd eaten all their winter patty, gave them some more. This is family bees. Now, um, family bees was pretty active when I moved them. It was barn bees in the center that really got me, though. But let's see if we've got bees in here. I definitely saw bees coming and going out of here. Oh, good. Don't want to do that, guys. Oh, yeah, we got bees. I disturbed them. I'm sorry, guys. They are all over here. Want to get some of this feed out? Yeah, they are doing well. Let's get you another close-up view of this one. Oh, oh, they're coming at me. Guys, they have came at me. Look at that. They came out all through the entrance right there. They came out that little, they came out right there. I've got to get them some feet on here and get them closed up before they just go crazy on me. Because, oh my goodness, they get, they get very, very angry this time of the year, you know. So let me just put some of this on there. Watch them just come out and attack my hand. And I, I can definitely get stung through this suit. So, see, I'm going to get some of this right here. Get some of that. I'm just going to use my hands. Get some right here. Oh, they're flying at me. Come on. Oh, look at them flying out. You got to be careful. They're all over the camera. Goodness gracious. Let's get a little bit more. Get a little bit more. Here we are. Get some right there. I want to keep them living throughout the winter. Sorry about the angle there, guys. Flatten that out a little bit. Oh, man very very well hot bees when i call bees that are angry i call them hot and that just means they're healthy to me some people like calm bees but calm bees die in the winter time so let me get this covered up and we will be done with family bees so you can see right now 
Barn bees has no bees flying, just like family bees a second ago did, and they're still a little irritated. So when I hope open this one up, let's see what barn bees do, does because, oh my goodness, that was sealed tight. They are typically not a happy camper. Lots of bees in there. They're already flying out. I see them flying out. I'm just gonna quickly, oh man, they're, they're coming out all over the end here. I'm trying to try to get some of this on here. Without a, oh, okay, gotta run, hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, look at my, look at my suit. They're all over the camera. They're all over, <laughs> that's a lot of bees. Let me back up just a little bit. Goodness gracious, they're all over everything. We've got barn bees fed and you can see they are already starting to partake of it a little bit. Look at them coming out this top entrance right there. These, these are my hottest bees, my meanest bees. And they, they really came out at me, took me out. I had to run away there, but look at these guys. So we got three out of the four colonies, right? We have gunslinger, family, um, barn bees. The next is 41.36 and hat maker. So let's check 41.36 now. I have no idea what to expect inside 41.36 bees. I saw a little bit of action but I have no idea. And you really hear how well they're sealed. There's bees, guys. There are bees. Now, 41.36 has typically been a lot calmer than a barn and family. They're starting to come out here a little bit. Let's uh, get some put up here. Oh, no, they're coming out a little bit. I'm not too, not too scared of them, though. All right. So 41.36 bees, doing great. I'm very, very happy with what I see. Got to keep these ladies fed now. Got to keep them fed. All right, let's get the top put back on them. They're starting to come out right there. 41.36 bees. Doing fine. Now the one I'm scared of, Hatmaker Colony. Now for the moment of truth. Oh, not sealed very well. That's not a good sign. Man, guys, I see some dead bees. And you still see the winter patty up here. They didn't eat the winter patty. It's still there. Look at that. Did not eat it. So they, they were in trouble for some time. Maybe even right at that, right at that uh, ice storm phase. So let's, let's open this up. See what we've got inside here. See if we can determine how they died and why they died. Okay, I don't see any bees. I mean, there's one bee there, but I think it's just a straggler. Let's open box up here man this this was sealed good there we are a lot of dead bees at the bottom don't see anything in here guys i don't even see a cluster let me see if i can turn it sideways see if i can see a cluster guys i don't see a cluster oh right there they are right here okay what's this this was all that was left of them i think let me open this up and see if you can see. Oh, there's some live bees here. Okay, they're just eating honey. These are these are thieves. These are these are um, robbers. Yeah, there's no queen right there. There's a small hive beetle. Okay, yep. I don't see the I don't see a cluster anywhere in there. Let me uh, go down a little bit farther. Let's see if I can see anything lower. When I say a cluster, it'd be all the bees died piled up together. And I do not see, see that anywhere. Man, this thing is propolized. Been stuck in there oh, for a long time. Stuck together. There we go. Come out of there. It looks like all the honey's been eaten out. There's a little bit of honey right there. Wait a second, guys. Pollen, honey. Oh my gosh, look at this. That is all honey. So Hatmaker did not starve. That is all honey right there, guys. Pollen and honey. Hatmaker did not starve. There is honey in here. But guys, at the bottom, now it's empty. There are tons of dead bees. Yep, nothing in the center there. 
But there was some honey left, but guys, look at here. Look at all the dead bees. Dead bees. So, all right. We are four out of five healthy bee colonies in the apiary. Ernie Hatmaker, I apologize. You are resting in peace somewhere in bee heaven, hopefully. But you are not in my apiary anymore, Ernie. You are gone. See ya. Guys, I did want to show you this. I pulled that top box. Again, this is Hatmaker Colony. Look at all this honey. This is all capped honey. This whole top box probably weighs about 30 pounds, and it is nothing but capped honey. So Hatmaker Colony did not starve. Look at all that beautiful, beautiful honey glistening. Guys, Hatmaker Colony did not starve. Most likely, uh, it was Varroa mites. I don't think it was moisture. Didn't see any signs of moisture down in there. Uh, or maybe they were just too, too low in numbers going into the winter. But definitely did not starve. This is actually okay. Going into spring right now with four colonies, I've got a bunch of honey here that I can share to these colonies if they need it. I'll get this uh, colony broke down so wax moths and all that stuff don't go in there. So I'll save these frames. And these frames mean I have instant place for new bees to live. And guys, in the springtime, these colonies split. They get too many bees and the, they make another queen and they make two colonies. I don't want eight to 10 colonies, guys. I'm, I'm happy with five to six. So I'll manage them to maybe one or two splits or I'll do a swarm catch, but I've got another hive ready to set up and I've also got this one. So I could go as far as six easy. I don't really want more than six, but guys, that's beekeeping here on the ridge in West Tennessee. We lose one, it did not starve. And that's a good thing, I guess, but we lost it, but we have resources for the rest of them. So thank you all for watching beekeeping. Well, I appreciate you joining me on the ridge today. I hope you enjoyed your time. Uh, we got that freeze damage taken care of, and guys, it is gonna be 25 to 28 degrees at nighttime, barely getting above freezing on one day. I've gotta winterize the camper again. Empty the drain lines, open the valves, put the antifreeze in there. I do not want lines to burst again, that's for sure. The bees in the apiary, like I said, if I lose one, that's fine, but really right now is the worst part. That colony was probably already doomed as we went into winter. Probably uh, Queen Ernie didn't have enough uh, bees to sustain her uh, temperature throughout the winter because it was all that honey. Oh my, I've never lost a colony that had that much honey in it. And I don't think it was Varroa mites. I, I, I really don't think it was a pest. I don't think it was Varroa mites or hive beetles or wax moths. Th th those are after effects of weak colonies. Um, now, she may have been weak and was overpowered by Varroa mites, but I think that was me not getting Queen Ernie and Hatmaker Colony ready for winter because you saw all the honey I had for them. I just don't think they were large enough. I probably should have given them some more bees from some of the other colonies. That's why you want to have multiple colonies, right? So we've got four good colonies and uh, if I come out with one or two more, I'll be fine. Or if one or two of these die out and I get one or two more in splits and I'm, I'm breaking even, that's exactly what I want. I ain't got too much time for bees. I got to build a barn. I got to build a barn dominium. I got land to clear. I've got a tractor to operate, right? Come on. That's right. Come on says Uber is way better than blue. I got to get blue in that field. I'll show him how it's done. So guys, I appreciate every one of you. If you like today's video, give it a big old thumbs up. Subscribe to Ridge Life. It is 100% free. Hit that notification bell to be notified anytime a new video comes out. And guys, I've got other channels too. I've got Ridge Life Ramblings. Check it out right there. Or is it right there? I always forget. Ridge Life Ramblings a uh, Four or five days a week, I get on and do vlog talking about all the stuff we've done, are going to do, and you get behind the scenes and sneak peeks of what's going on on Ridge Life. So hit that Ridge Life rambling subscribe button as too. I've got lesson, a Ridge Life lessons where I do a faith-based on Sunday Night Live, and I've also got reviews and how-tos, Ridge Life's reviews and how-tos. All channels I appreciate if you subscribe to, but just subscribe what you like. That's fine with me. I don't care. Guys, I do care about you, though, and I appreciate all the support and love I've gotten over the last few weeks and months. It's been a tough time, but you've made it easier, and I do appreciate that, guys. So until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed day, and go Ridge Life.